Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. We're in the blister of tranquility, and there's all sorts of people here that we've met throughout the game. Uh, this hideous statue of a giant spork. I think that's the biggest, meanest looking spork I ever saw outside of Chicago. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we need to do something with that. I never understand modern art. No. Neither do I. Um, there's another statue here. I'm more of a classic art guy than a modern art guy, I'll be honest. Rainbow Elevator. Does that take us up to where Hugh Bliss is? I think it does. I don't know if we we really want to be up here, to be honest. There's an intimidating door. Well, that's certainly an important looking door. I wonder what's behind it. Something really secret or something really ugly, I'm guessing. Or a really ugly secret. One can only hope. <laughs> okay, so I don't... It looks pretty intimidating. True, but only in an inanimate object kind of way. I, d I don't know that we can actually... I don't think we can get in here yet. Also, some of you guys have been in touch about um, random bits and pieces. I've been told to go back to the office and have another look around there. I don't know if I missed something key. Um, I don't know. What is this? Roller coaster. You must be at least this tall to ride this ride. Fascist oppressors. <laughs> Max, are you tall enough to go on there? Please keep, your legs. Please keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times or swallow the inevitable gruesome consequences. Oh god, that sounds uh, not very good. Those uh, machines are up here. So the ant farms. I've never seen here. ants meditating before. What's this hole? I think this is a pool of artificially flavored fruit punch. No cult should be without one. <laughs> all right. Uh, lush vegetation. Isn't that Hubert Max? Yeah. No way. Too healthy. There's loads of stuff from our um, from our office in here. Magician's hat. I'm beginning to think we already know everyone on the moon. Yeah, we do. How are you, Mr. Featherly? Oh, for heaven's sake! My name is not Featherly. It's Philo Pennyworth. Featherly is the name of my former television character. Oh, yeah, sorry. Have you no ability to distinguish between fantasy and reality? <laughs> well, what's so important about that anyway? I mean, we are on the moon, so how's the TV show doing? How's Midtown Cowboys doing these days? You mean you don't even know? No. The show was cancelled almost immediately after your first and only appearance. <laughs> oh, that flap over the tabloid photos of you two with that alien brought the censors down on us. Oh. That was no alien. It was Hugh Bliss. Yeah. The show was ruined and my career along with it. Mm, sorry about that. Max is president. Did you know Max is president now? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> Why prismatology? How did you happen to get into prismatology? You don't seem like the type. It's an excellent networking opportunity for an actor. Ah. Yes, this place appears to be littered with Hollywood luminaries. Ordinarily it is. I believe there's a party at Kevin Bacon's home. <laughs> so naturally everyone is there. Right, yeah, okay. Why are you here? How come you're not at Kevin Bacon's place? I'd rather not talk about it. Fine. No matter. While I am here, I am learning new skills to broaden my appeal in the entertainment industry. Oh, good like for you. Use your eyes, man. <laughs> okay, what kind of prismatologist are you? You're a little snarky for a prismatologist, aren't you? There are many shades on the rainbow. Fine. What's with the hat? What's with the hat? I'm pursuing new opportunities in the entertainment field. What are you, pulling rabbits out of it? <laughs> Rats. Rats. Or at least I'm trying <gasps> to. Uh, we might be able to help with that. <gasps> Drat. Ah. We're going to have to get him off of the parking meter then. I gather the rat out of the hat trick isn't going so well? The principles involved are quite simple. I could even teach them to adult like you. Now, hold on a minute. <laughs> but I'm having trouble getting the rat all the way out. It appears to be stuck. Fine, we, we can deal with that. The rat's stuck in the hat. How long has the rat been stuck in the hat? You misunderstand. The rat is not actually in the hat. It's stuck somewhere else. The hat is acting as a dimensional portal to wherever the rat happens to be. Yeah, okay. Wow. Is it magic or science? <laughs> is there really any difference? Teach us the trick. Would you teach me how to pull a rat out of a hat? Prismatology instructs us to share. Nice. But I've simply got to perform the trick successfully myself first. I can't have you scooping me. Fine. No, I guess not. Fine. Well, we'll we'll help you. Catch with you later, that. Featherly. Pennyworth. My name is Pennyworth. <laughs> if you say so. There's another statue here. 
who else is here? The machines are here from the last episode, right? Yeah, here they are. Look, Max, it's our obsolete computer pals, the cops. They don't sound very happy to see us. You destroyed reality 2.0. Yeah. Destroy! Sorry. Remember your blitz. Adopt a more positive attitude now. Yeah, sorry about that. Is Prismatology helping you? Is Prismatology teaching you anything? That one's my favorite. It sounds like he's always cursing. <laughs> that is because he is. Wow, okay. We're learning the most powerful skill of them all. The power to see within ourselves to become the best we can be. Good for you. How do you see within yourself? How does one go about seeing within oneself? Use of magical quanta required for bootstrap procedure. Right. Come again? Four machines must learn to look within their leaden shells to find the answers within. One fabulous magical talisman makes it all possible. Huh. This week only. <laughs> Give us your talisman. Could we borrow your magical talisman? Never! We are all powerful! We're sorry that power is currently in use. We're working hard to create an unbeatable AI. We apologize for any inconvenience. Hmm. Okay, fine. What are you doing here? What are you computers doing here on the moon? Prismatology has restored our sense of purpose. After you destroyed Reality 2.0, we banded together to make a newer, even better game. Coming soon. <laughs> it will rock your world! You came to a private retreat on the moon to work on something as insubstantial as a video game? <laughs> Not just any game. We are creating the most advanced AI in history. Right. In a world where two forces battle for domination of a war-torn landscape, only one will draw the line and reign supreme. Do you get to shoot stuff? It's not a good game until you get to shoot stuff. <laughs> Thank you for your feedback. We will incorporate shooting into version 2.0. Oh, good for you. Let's try that video game. Play your motivational song. Let's hear that Come motivational on. song of yours again. Why, Sam? Because it's great. You bliss has taught us we no longer need self hyphen reinforcement. Oh, come on, we hyphen. Have looked inside <laughs> ourselves. And we totally rock. Oh, I want to hear it. Let's try the video okay. game. Max and I'll try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation. The year is 2048. In a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant corporations, you are a cybernetically enhanced space marine with no memory of his past. Nice. Are you the chosen one foretold by prophecy? Do you have the strength to survive? I hope so. Tick, tack, doom. Death to infidels. Tick, tack, doom. You will fail. It's, it's, it's noughts and crosses then, is it? So, yeah, I mean... They're gonna win, basically, aren't they? Um, yeah, they're gonna win. Yeah, they're gonna win. I will destroy you. So I wonder if they. I mean, you cannot defeat me. I mean, Actually, you lost. I just kind of did. Yeah, Roar. By your calculations, your chances of winning were one in ten trillion. Well, you lost. The sun was in my eyes. Tough. Thank you for playing Tic Tac Doom. We'll continue to look within ourselves and improve our award-winning AI to make it even more challenging. It was too short and not hard enough. I want my money back. Yeah. Please try again later. We want our money back. Can we take the bug? Hey, Max, is that our bug? Hey, Max, is that our bug? <laughs> he still got it. Thank you. You're a prismatologist too? Yes, I am. I'm so happy I could view rainbows. Rainbows. Uh, we'll just keep our distance then. Yeah, yeah, you, you stay over there. Let's look at the shark. They have sharks and the blister of tranquility? All devoted practitioners are welcome. Eh, fair enough. So we've got to help Lincoln, um, meet up with, um, Whee! with Sybil. So we've got to do that at some point. We've got to figure that out. I want to go back to... That's so disturbing, that big hubless with the rainbow coming out of his mouth. Uh, we want to go back to to earth and go to the office so um let's do that next so we can do that we need to figure out a way into this thing as well i think but we obviously need to do something we haven't done yet so let's see if we can figure out how to get uh jimmy two teeth off of that thing as well off of the parking meter we've got a whole list of things to do it's good I'm enjoying this episode so far. It's very out there, but it's, it's very good, isn't it? 
Right. Uh, can we just... I don't know. Can we use an item on Jimmy or something? Uh, no. Come back. Jimmy. That meter's been out of order for years. Just because it ain't white, that don't mean people don't put money in it. <laughs> it's like an HMO. <laughs> All right. Well, can we... Can you use any of our items? Better not. Oh. Fine. Hey, Jimmy, wanna touch my unicorn? Beat it! No, just touch it. Bam! <laughs> Alright, there's gotta be a way of doing something here, right? We can do something to the meter, maybe, I don't know. Maybe we can. Can we, like, bend the meter back so it's straight? Maybe. Let's check out the office, because I've been told to come back here and, and have another look. So I obviously did miss something somewhere. Uh, there's the bin. We store our waste here for safekeeping. Okay, the coat rack. When this case is over, we should start a more fashion-forward news collection. <laughs> All right, we've got the dartboard. It's the president's sophisticated budget allocation system. We've got this. We listened to this, I think. The moon was a lot nicer when it was still hard to get to. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's changed. Just me, Max, and the speed pickle. Okay. We can look out the window. The street seems quiet too quiet. Mm, I can see him there. Okay, we've got the television, we've got the coat hanger. We can Sam, take... without that, we can't watch Colonel Mudshank's monkey party tonight. <laughs> they were gonna vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshank's exiled for treason, remember? Okay, so we've got the coat hanger. I wonder if that's what we were missing. So that's not gonna work without the, um... The thing, is it? Max's desk. President Max thought the desk in the Oval Office was too showy. <laughs> uh, there's no one in the rat hole. We've been in the closet already. So it must have been that. Maybe it was just the coat hanger. I don't know what we need that for. Maybe we can use it on Jimmy Tootie. I mean, if I have missed anything else, feel free to... Um, don't, don't tell me what I've missed, but feel free to say, you know... You might want to search so-and-so or go back and look at this place again. D yeah, just don't don't tell me the actual items and things like that, because that, that's just, you know, there's no fun. Nothing doing. No. Nothing. Okay, can we just... Since Max and I never pay for parking anyway, those things just get in the way. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't look like we can do anything with that. We've got Bosco's here. I don't know if there's anything else we can do in Bosco's. We need loads and loads of money to be able to, to buy the thing from him from this episode. More money than we've ever had before. Hey, Bosco. How many times have I told you I'm Bosco's mama? Okay, fine. Right, so long. See you later, Bosco's mom. Okay, go outside and play. We are. Uh, Max, any ideas, buddy? Uh, you ate the spoon bending case. Could I have that display case you ate? Can you wait 12 to 72 hours? No. I'd rather not. Okay, so we need to find a way to get that. Uh, I could use a hint. What's next for us? What do you feel like doing once we wrap up this case? Take a vacation! Seems like we've been working for the past seven months straight. <laughs> uh, I could use a hint. Help me out with something. Sure. Uh, okay, how do I get in the Lunar Lander? I need $100 trillion. I want a Tic Tac Doom. I'd like to help Lincoln get a date. That lead door excites me. Uh, let, let's ask about this. I yearn to blast off in that lunar lander, but the keys are locked inside. Does AAA service extend to the moon? Hang Somehow on. Somehow I doubt it. I've just had an idea. Never mind. The, the way to break into cars a long time ago, you could use like a, a big piece of metal, couldn't you, to like open up the lock? And I wonder if we can use the... Um, the TV aerial, aka the coat hanger. The fact that it said about the keys being inside makes me wonder if we can use the, the coat hanger to open up the the lander. Let's give it a go. Where are we headed now, Sam? Back to the moon. To the moon, Alice. Okay. Uh, Luna Lander, Lander Door. That was the one, wasn't it? The keys are locked inside. Okay, yeah. I bet this is what we're going to have to do. 
Let's see. Haha, <laughs> yes, okay, we're gonna, yeah, there we go, we're gonna lift it up. Alright, we're in the Lunar Lander. What does this thing do? Can we fly it? I oh, know, we've just got. Uh, maybe we can fly it, actually. We can! Where can we fly? No, we can't. <laughs> Sam? I think the controls don't work how they're supposed to. Ah. So can we do something to the controls? I mean, we've got a, we've got the Lunar Lander key. Maybe we're going to have to fix the controls to be able to do something with that then. Um, but I'll tell you what, guys. We're out of time, so we'll try and figure out the controls in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.